Welcome to Salem. You can't even make this up. We're in New Jersey. We're not in Massachusetts. <laughs> In other headlines this noon, two men are dead and a third is in critical condition after a triple shooting in the city of Salem. We are still trying to gather more information as to exactly where this active shooting uh, took place and where this active shooter is. Now we're going to go to the latest on that deadly shootout in New Jersey that left four innocent people dead. This morning, the first glimpse of the aftermath inside that Jewish market, the epicenter of that deadly police shootout. Every one of them are abandoned. You know, look at them all. Look at that. You can literally you see the vault in the back, the chandelier. This is just this honestly, they're not gonna do anything with this place. What is up guys? Right now we are in New Jersey in a town called Salem. As you can see the water tower tank back there actually says Salem on it. When, you, when I was driving through here you can see the sign that says welcome to Salem. Now I live near Boston and I'm so used to Salem, Massachusetts, home of the witches, right? But being in another town called Salem I was actually like what? There's another town called Salem and it's here in New Jersey and this town I wouldn't say it's a ghost town but it's pretty much going pretty much kind of downhill. I hate to say it. For the first time in two years, volunteers are counting the number of homeless people in shelters and those who are unsheltered, living in places like the woods, cars, or abandoned homes. Volunteers tell me it provides a more accurate picture of how many homeless people live in the county and how they became homeless in the first place. There's a big conversation around homelessness and substance abuse and you know negative impacts of homelessness and today I've realized that a lot of the reasons for people being homeless has nothing to do with those things. Um, over here there's a glass pretty much factory that opened up. They would make a lot of glass here. They took a lot of the sand from the Pine Barrens to make this glass and this provided a lot of jobs for this town. So much jobs. It was theaters, beauty shops, um, banks, everything you name it was here at one point. And what happened was when this place closed down, that was the start of this town pretty much kind of starting to tank. And at that point, it opened up, you know, rent started getting a little bit cheaper. It brought in a lot of drug dealers, a lot of different people uh, into this town. They also didn't have a lot of money. It, it pretty much was the start of everything, it was because of this glass factory. We are going to be driving around through Salem, New Jersey, looking at the neighborhood, showing the abandoned houses, showing the shops, maybe going in some, maybe not, I don't know. It's going to be a really cool day. So let's jump on this video and explore. Wow. So this would, this would be the glass factory? Andy? So the glass factory, guys, is the reason actually why almost everything in this town kind of went to kind of like crap. Um, that's the way to put it. If you look over there, you can see the water tower tank of Salem with all the birds are on it. All right, so we got Andy in the back. He's been here many times. He pretty much grew up here. Um, but like I said, we're kind of driving around Salem, New Jersey, looking for a bunch of abandoned places. I'm going to pull over and show you some here. Kind of like a lot of like roadside attractions. Uh, and we're going to go into a funeral home. We're going to go into like a bank. We're, there, there's just everything. There's even abandoned theater here. There's so much to see. Abandoned bank. At the wow. Go in. Dude, it's like an old Victorian house, this one. I actually like this house. An old beauty salon right there. Look at how, look the building, how weird it's shaped. There's a ton of houses all boarded up on a straight line, too. Damn, look at this one. Yeah. It's crazy. Looks like that had a fire. Yeah. Yeah, the ceiling is, <laughs> half the house is gone. <laughs> There's even a crazy one in the back. A lot of trash on the ground here as well. On this side on my left, I was on Steve's side. Another house, all that's, just faking. <laughs> cool. the, top, the top's cool though. Christina Chillum leads one of the street outreach teams in Salem County, driving by areas where homeless people are known to be and offering them help. Yeah, this house right here. Again, guys, you just drive by it. Beautiful. Yeah. Bunch of vines on it. Mm. What, uh, 
Right past that house is a graveyard right here. But it looks like it's just, it's not even like gated. It's just gravestones. Dude. It's just kind of on to me. There's literally no money here actually in this town. I mean, even on this side, this whole, I don't even know what this is. Let's pull up to it. Texas Winters. No, World's Oh, Wieners. Wieners. Texas Wieners. I didn't read it right. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they used to sell dog, like hot dogs. The abandoned hot dog shop. Ah oh, man, world famous yeah. Texas Wieners is abandoned. We didn't get to get one. Damn, did you get one back in the day I here? No, you didn't oh. get it. Missed out on them. Missed out Damn. on the Texas Wieners. This town's crazy. I've never <laughs> seen so many. Another each side, every side I go on, abandoned houses. <laughs> Another one. I oh no, this one almost looked abandoned, but it's not. First floor looks abandoned. Oh no, here. there's not. Another one! We've pretty much seen like 20 abandoned homes. Yes. Crap, dude, look at this. Crabby Joe's. Abandoned seafood. It, it, it is. Even down there, another one, abandoned. This is actually almost, wait, no! King, King Fried Chicken. Bro, we're seeing so many restaurants left abandoned. Can't even make this up. There is so many. <laughs> we keep driving off the road. <laughs> I, I just, there's just so many though, more oh, than dude, ever. Right. So right now we're with Andy again, like I said. Andy is taking us to a few spots today. Um, one is going to be a bank. There's a radio station around here. There's a theater. There's a funeral home, which is the reason why we actually came to Salem, New Jersey anyways. But, and, and when we found out how much is actually left here, we were like, oh my God, I'm gonna do a whole ghost town video here. Ben and Dennis office. There you go. There, there's so much businesses that went out, closed, and that's it's sad. Whoa. So yeah, this was a radio station. We can kind of pull in. Yeah, Have you been in there before? Right, let's pull in there. Let's pull in and do it. Look at that. The, st the towers are still there. Yeah, we're gonna stop yeah. and turn in. When you do like ghost towns in places like this, literally, all you do is just park on the side and you can walk in. Places like this don't care. You're not going in, you're not robbing places like this. I've been to so many where you can just walk right in and I'm pretty sure these are probably all one of them. But this, uh, Andy said this is an old radio station. I mean, the antennas are still here. It's just really cool to see. You know, obviously they're maintaining something. Maybe they're gonna sell the property. Maybe they're re-renovating it. Um, things will always come and go and change here. But what we're doing here in Salem, New Jersey is kind of just really going around and showing you guys it. What I find crazy is they literally call this place Salem, New Jersey. Like Salem, Massachusetts. Spooky stuff. Uh, it's just so strange to me. I wonder if they actually advertise the whole witch thing here. I'm not sure. Damn. <laughs> Kiss 1017 FM. Did you listen to that before? Jamming. Back in the day? Jamming. That's sick, bro. That's cool. Is it was uh, W J I C A M too. Oh, one of A M and F M. Wow. So the time froze here at almost 9 a.m. or p.m. This is all the office part of the station and the uh, the production part. On this side? Is there anything left? Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Vinyl, Damn. vinyl, CDs, the transmitters. We got records here. Oh, this is really cool, bro. Look at this. News Talk Radio. You can see it. I wonder if we can find a rare vinyl. I don't know much about vinyls. I never actually even put one on and, and heard it, like listen to it or anything. I mean, some one could be from like Elvis. If you, if you find one like from like an Elvis vinyl record, it would be they're, like they're worth, worth money. a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I've found some in like abandoned places, like an abandoned house before. What is this? Oh, Christmas joys. We need those. Can't wait for that. Get our spirits up. Come on. What about this, bro? Mix sweet. What do you think of Mixed Sweet? Sweet is looking pretty sweet. You like it? It's a good one, Mixed Sweet. He's holding a, a cool apple. I don't know this guy. Aww. A lot of, oh, who's this? Nope. 
I don't know. I don't know him either. Mm, I feel like sure. I've seen this guy before. A lot of old people watching our stuff's gonna be like, how do you not know him? Or not, or not. There's a whole shelf full though. There's a whole shelf of records. How do you find Elvis or Michael Jackson? Right Michael Jackson would be a cool find. Dang, so they would be all in here. This was probably a complete soundproof uh, actual like wall. They all were soundproof for the most part. You know, all the transmitters, buttons, powers, amps, are all here. Oh, what the heck? What's up? Another show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the quiet room. See, look at that. It even says quiet, please. Don't go in there yet? Yeah, All right, I won't go in there. So now wait. Up. He's setting something up oh, for yeah. us. He's gonna surprise us. And you can see though, look at this is the soundproof room that's actually in intact. Got the soundproof walls right there. He yeah. said us not to go in yet. Yeah. He's setting it up. This is like Andy's childhood area. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in, you guys. We're just ready for the afternoon show. We're gonna turn <laughs> it up here with a little Martin McGuire and the fireworks. Putting it in, Boy. setting it in. <laughs> Don't tell me it's worked. Here it's we work. go, you guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's back here for a minute. <laughs> hey, you did uh, that. You, you, I thought it was going to work. You used to work fresh. here, bro. Yep, yep. Look at that. Still, though. Besides all the damage from the ceiling so caving in? Wow. And people were just like, holy fuck, where is that? Where is that fucking People thing? wanted to where see it? Gone? Holy God. That's awesome. Dude, holy shit. Look at these vinyls. I mean, from all the water damage, yo, it's just like caving down like a U. Your mom. Bro, Steve, check this out. <laughs> Look at how the how they all are lined up here. Oh my gosh. You might be able to find Michael Jackson in there or Elvis. Dude, there's so many of them. Yeah. Look, they got mushrooms growing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's right there next to the mushrooms. Uh, it <laughs> might be. What do you mean? Oh, AM transmitter? Well, look, if you turn your light off. Oh. oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So Come we on. just got to figure out how to see there's no radios yeah, today. All the equipment's today. gone. Yeah, we can start broadcasting, bro. Yeah, People I'm think we're things. ghosts. Ghost station. Yeah. Yeah, good spot. Black good stop. Radio. Yo, if there's an apocalypse, we could broadcast right through here. Yep. Right? We could. So is anyone there? <laughs> Any humans <laughs> out there? <laughs> oh, all the equipment's here. This is in the, the other rooms. Oh, shit. Look at this. Ah, it's heavy. I can't move it. See you guys, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, how do you not know what that is? <laughs> it's just past my time. No, bef yeah, before my time. I don't know what any of it is. And the thing is, is the only thing I did back in the day, I used to have like a Cobra uh, CB radio I would use, but that's it. Hey, the ra this office is still pretty uh, set up. The pens. I mean, look how old, they're using the old ones from like 1980, the monitors. Salem, you can see it right on the cars. It's so weird to me. So right over here is actually the old town hall building and we're right on Main Street. We're gonna go up to it. Yes, the town hall is abandoned. So, or city hall, you know, whatever. Check this building out. You know, it's sitting here abandoned. The old Salem cities. Dude, this is so cool. Look at this thing. I really like this. See, so yeah, look at that National Registry 
register of historic places. This once it's on the national uh, register list, that's it. You cannot destroy this building. It stays to the end. Ah, oh, that's what it looks like inside. Can't really go in though. You know, surprisingly though, they're keeping it clean. Guys, comment down below. Is that Teddy Roosevelt's face? Steve just pointed that out. I didn't even see it. But this, dude, oh my god, it's just so sick, this building. If you look closely, it says City National Bank. And yes, right on Main Street, this bank is abandoned in Salem. You see on Main Street here, there's still some businesses open. If you look, you know, you got some open right here. There's a pet shop. You know, there's still some bars left. Cars are still running through here, but they're every other building. Even the bank, you will see. They're just abandoned. And if we peek in the window, barely, hang on. You can kind of see the vaults, the marble, the granite walls. I mean, this is luxury. At one time, wait, hang on, there we go. Look at that, you can see, literally you see the vault in the back, the chandelier, this is just, this, honestly, they're not gonna do anything with this place. Now, on the other hand, Though this bank is abandoned, on the right, left side is the Salem Art Bank where people and communities are trying to get together to bring this place back to life as much as they can. They re-renovated this bank next door and then called it the Salem Art Bank. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna walk in here for a second. I just wanna show you what the vault looks like in here and in an active building, you know, when they're trying to re-renovate things. But it does look super cool. Look at this. That is so cool. Look at that uh, vault in the back. This one looks absolutely insane. Like, I, this is beautiful. There's a black cat with it, you can't. Bro, I'm pulling over for this one. I wanna buy this spot. We had to pull out and get out the car for this. We love abandoned kind of gothic Victorian houses. This one looks like, like from the movie, It. I can't believe this. I wonder what happened or who even owned it at one point. How did it get like this? To see a house like this? Is there statues? Oh no, it's not. I thought it was statues over there. But wow, there's, there's, oh, there is a painting of a girl in the window. There's a cat trying to climb. What is he doing? Where are you going? He's, I scared her. I bet you this whole house is covered by just cats in the inside. This is the, you know, garage has a private property sign. No one's been here in forever. I'm just gonna assume the family died. <laughs> Why would you ditch a spot like this? That's right. Okay. What, what do you know about the house across the street? Do you know anybody lived there? The lady's at the nursing home. Right. But nobody lives here. Yeah, how long she been gone, you know? Beautiful home. Yes, it I is. mean, you know, Salem's filled with beautiful homes. Mm -hmm. So she still owns it, but then she went to the nursing yeah, yeah. home and her husband died, probably. Yeah, yeah wow. And then it ended up like that. I don't know whether she still owns it or not, but... Was it a beautiful home before? It was. It was. You remember? Wow. Yeah, people can walk in. The, the door's wide open now. It's crazy, though. Yeah. You know, you don't look like you're going to stay alive in that house. Probably not. Oh. I think that's why she went in the nursing home, because she can't afford this. Anymore. Right. Nursing home she, she needs to be in a nursing home because she can be blue with her body. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. No, it was getting too scary. Yeah. Well, one person by themselves in that house? Yeah. 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 Well, like husband, 70 something years old. So. It's cool that we got to interact with the locals. And I, I'm glad you started that. Yeah, I do. You know what I mean? I'm glad I'm not, you started I'm not that. I'm afraid to talk to the locals. No, nah, you did good. And we, you know, we learned about how her husband died. And after her husband died, um, she couldn't really kind of take care of it herself. 
Uh, one of the ladies over there said that maybe because she couldn't afford it either. Whether or not she could afford it or not, she was still alone in that huge house after her husband died. So she ended up in the nursing home. She's been there for well over two years, if not more. And now after the house not being maintained, don't know how long it's been sitting here abandoned like this, but it's a while. Now she did say that there is nothing inside and everything is all rotten and, and gross because the, actually the girl with the coat went in it. So, and I already kind of knew that, especially in the neighborhood kind of like this, everyone already would have ransacked it anyway, but I, we just had to pull over for this story. It's honest, honestly amazing, but we're gonna keep on moving. I don't know what else lies in this journey. Do not cancel this video. Shout out to freaking Andy, by the way. Um, I don't think I shot him out in this video yet. This is Andy. Uh, what, what's your social media, bro? SVX. SVX what? Explorations? Video exploration, yep. Yep, check them out. And yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you're new here, we do videos like this all the time. And I have merch at riseabove.shop. Link in the description down below. Let's keep going. We only went down the street. Look, 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 look the other way. The blue one up there. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh, the blue one's abandoned too. Wait on there. But we only went down the street for a second, bro. And look at this one. Almost similar, but not as clear. There's three in a row here. But look at this. The architecture on top. I can't get over this. I'm just gonna leave the car running. Dude, we have to at least check this one out. Check it out. Yes. Oh, look, look at the triangular, like. I know. Oh my god. I can't get over this. You know, this is more Salem than actually Salem, New uh, Boston. This is more of a Salem. No joke. We haven't checked out. Coming with you, bro. I'm behind. I doubt it. I doubt it. You can tell that this used to be a beautiful home. Yeah. You're so close here. Well, you have homeless still. Remember that. I think there might be some upstairs. I think so. Heard something. <laughs> they were trying to fix it, Steve. They were trying to actually fix it up, it looked like. All redone, uh, like plaster on the walls. Wait, this? Yeah, oh, yeah, someone's up there. I mean, I heard something when I first walked in too. And if you heard something, most likely there's people here. I mean, I don't wanna go, I don't need to go searching in here, honestly though. I just wanted to show off, you know, for the people, you know, give people the idea. Because people and the viewers at home are gonna watch this and be like, you gotta go inside. So I just wanna show you that every house is empty here. That's all. So now that I just showed you this house, I just want to take you a quick glance at this house. I won't go in any of these, especially because I know there's people in them. And I, but I just have to kind of like, you know, be wow all over again, because that craftsmanship, I would dream and love to buy and live in a house like this. I mean, look at this one. It's a straight up, it's a gothic house. So really quick, check this house out. You can see they got the corners to kind of like stop the people from walking the sidewalk because this house is actually crumbling down literally. And if you look just right there, house five, someone lives in house five. Knowing that the side of the house right here is literally falling apart. It's pretty much one house. Uh, but you'll see people in some rundown houses, you know, that are abandoned. You'll see people in encampments, you know, in, in the woods. Shillam says Salem County could use every federal dollar it can get. The infrastructure of our county is, is very scarce too, just struggling. I mean, as far as where, uh, where we could set up warming centers, where we could have cold blue shelters, where we could have an emergency shelter, we don't have these things. It's a double-edged sword for officials in Salem County. While they're not hoping for a high homeless count, it would also mean more federal funds and resources for New Jersey's least populous county. House just chilling right here. 
you know, abandoned. If you just go straight across the street, house right here, abandoned. I must have showed you guys already, must have been at least 20 houses now abandoned. This is just, there's more. This is, there's probably, I think half the town's abandoned. Guys, check out this building. We're gonna go inside there. Well, if it's open, but this was their old movie cinema. Have you ever been there when it was open? I was never at this one. I don't think that I have. But uh, man, I think it closed 20 years ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And you know what? There are so many other like kind of towns like this, but like you gotta find them. Four or five years ago, I was doing more towns like this back in the day, just saying. And this is one of these old school ones too, where you would literally park your car, go to the front of the concession stand right there, and you would get a ticket right there, and then go inside straight into the movies. Look at that, that sign used to light up, premiere probably in like red, could have been purple, I don't know. But it's just so, um, I just love, I love Roadside Abandoned, I can't get enough of it. There's always interesting stories. Uh, to me what sells and what blows my mind nowadays is more about the story than what's left in the abandoned place. That's what's more important to me now. But again, you would come up here, get your ticket, and then go inside. Doors wide open. Coming in, asbestos nation mold. It's all here. Yup, you missed that smell. Wow. <laughs> Honestly though, it's not even that like bad, because look at this. It's not even damaged. Wow, look at the sign up there. It's still in, it's intact, bro. Look at, you would have the neon star. Still here, the popcorn. From the outside to now, this is way better than I expected. It's cool because you bought your ticket, you already walk in, and you just grab your, your snacks and you go. It's very simple, very small, but this is amazing. Great for photos. I gotta start documenting and taking photos more. And guys, speaking of that, I do have an Instagram. So shout out to my Instagram, link in description down below. You can kind of see a lot of photos from our adventures that we go into. If you look in the back here, you can still see the popcorn machines here. Obviously, that does not work though. No seats in the theater. No more seats? I'll go on this side. This side looks way more nicer. Quiet on set. Shut your phones off. You guys better shut your phones off. Make sure my phone is off before we head inside. I'm gonna turn it off so I don't disturb people. Turning it off right now. All right, we're going in. Okay. Look at the old coloring, the purple and the, like that neon color, you know? Oh shit. There are no more seats for sure. They're all gone, maybe they've been sold. Wow. Actually though, you know what's weird? I, why is the movie theater way far back there? Look at this. If I'm sitting in the back row and I'm watching a movie way down there, I would barely see the screen. Is that really how it was in the, some of them? Comment below if that's true, I don't know. Like, could I sit right here and actually look at a screen way down there? Just have to show this off. Yeah, this was the screen, this is the white screen. <clears throat> the projector would hit it. You know, right there. The projector is literally way down there. Look at that. <laughs> I'd hate this in the back. They're, this is just a, such a weird design. I would love to go to a theater that's still like this. Andy, think about this, right? Imagine you're sitting right there. That's where your seat is. It's so far back from the actual screen. Just notice this as I just left. Look at it, it said actresses. It's the bathrooms, but. It's just cool how the setup is. But that's it. Yup. Thank you for your for visiting the premiere. We still have more to see. Don't just exit this out yet. Keep it moving. The ending is gonna be insane when we go to the last place, which is the funeral home though. And here we go to another bank. Now this bank is the last bank I have to show you. We showed three banks off and all three have been abandoned. This is the last one. I'm gonna show you it right now on the inside. Again, it's probably not. Oh wait, look at this, yeah. Look at that bank. Yep. Before we go into this bank really quick, Andy has a story to tell you about this hardware store. 
Bruce Willis, the actor. Bruce Willis, the actor. His was his grandparents' hardware store. And he grew up in this town here and always had a dream of coming back and revitalizing it. But uh, you can see that it uh, it hasn't hadn't been revitalized. So Bruce Willis's grandparents are Bruce. Will oh, so this was their grandparents. The grandparents' store, yeah. Wow. And then so Bruce Willis was like, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this up for him. Well, the whole town. He was trying to put money back into the town. Oh. The town used to have a giant amusement park, and they would, people would come over from by, by ferry from Philadelphia. This was like a destination, and uh, you know, I guess he was trying to bring it back. Yeah, to the story days. that's it didn't work out. That's sad. And now Bruce Willis state. He I don't know his real state. They're not saying it, but he's sick. Something happened to him. I don't think he's ever going to fix this place up. Look at the inside of the hardware store. It's all empty. But to get inside these buildings, I mean, you can just go right in through the door. I mean, or if you really want to climb through this window, you could. Oh, man. All right, we're going to go in in a second. Yeah, Andy. Right by the Delaware River. Check out the flooded basement. Let's check it. Look at this. This is a spiral staircase, yeah, man. Get on down there, Josh. All Take right. steps down. Wow, you, dude, I wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't. I would not have noticed this. Ready? Yep. Oh, shit. Sheesh. Look at that. It's so clear. Yeah, guys, this is, the water is so super clear. You would think you can go in the basement. This one, dude, you know how much water? Like 12 feet deep. 12 feet, yeah, more maybe. The whole basement is gone. Dude, if we had scuba diving gear, we can go, go down in there. We would have found the vault under there. There, dude, there is a vault underwater in this bank. Guys, I don't even care. I'm about to get a scuba diver outfit, go down there, and do it. Maybe I, I might do it. But yo, in order for me to do that, I need hmm, 500,000 thumbs up or likes for me to get the gear to go down there and explore pretty much the Titanic bank vault. Oh, by the way, look at the chandelier that's still here. Just a little bit, you get a glimpse of it. Go through here into another room. You can see another rusted old vault appearing in front of us. This one, you probably won't even be able to move anymore. It's pretty much in the ground. Hey, you know, if the, if the floor caves in, at least you know, we know. Yeah, we're in water at this point. Let's go through here. Here, this would be all the security boxes for people or maybe some gold bricks. Maybe, just maybe. But yeah, they're all security boxes. You know, I might, I don't know how much I'd spend, but I keep one of my bricks or uh, my envelopes, my money, my secret, my jewelries, they would be inside here. You pay a monthly fee and you can put one of your stuff in there. So it's pretty cool. But in the end, yeah, this is the bank vault, one of them. Downstairs is probably the biggest one though. We can't go in it. The vault ventilator. Well, all right. The moment that Steve has actually been waiting for. Not us, but mostly Steve. We are gonna head to the funeral home. We have a lot to show you there. That's how this whole video kind of originated was for us to focus on the funeral home, but I wanted to do this whole documentary on Salem, New Jersey. Show you guys what's happening here, how it happened, places that are around it that are abandoned. It's just a crazy vibe to me. I love abandoned ghost towns, but we are now gonna head to the funeral home. There are still many buildings here. We could do a part two or maybe even a part three here. If you guys wanna see more, let me know. And maybe I will come back here and show you guys more spots, but I'm giving you guys the biggest uh, you know, tour and rundown of this place. But again, the funeral home is now coming up next.
All right, so I'm, I'm sure you guys are mind blown by the funeral home. Uh, we had some issues on my camera. Um, some reason, something, something happened where my memory card got corrupted. I already ordered a new one, but I was showing you guys the funeral home and it just did not work. Over here, he came out with the GoPro footage, showed off the funeral home, and we're still able to complete the video. Dude, he's riding a dope ass old Mercedes. I actually like his car. Just, I'm showing you off your car, Andy. Is that cool? Look at that. You got the dope Mercedes over here. I like this car. Tinted and everything. All right, guys. We're going to get back to the Airbnb. We're going to kind of pretty much squat out. We're back. I took a shower. I changed. It was a super long day. Also, what I think is really crazy, and I don't know how this happens, but I've been to a few, a few funeral homes that were abandoned, and somehow someone's whole body, their ashes are just left there. How is that possible? How does... Can someone comment below, like, how does your, your dead relative, your family member, just end up sitting in the abandoned funeral home still? I'm on the website of the funeral home. This is, th their funeral home still has their website up. And these are the prices. I didn't know any of this. I never thought about prices of a funeral if like a loved one dies and this is what you have to pay. If you want to use their hearse car, it's $300. You can body prep them. Caskets, $2,000 for a casket. This is their website. But all together, look at the total cost, $8,000. There's a lot to it. There's a lot that goes into funeral homes when you die in terms of costs that I never thought of until I just did this funeral home. But overall, it was a crazy day today. Uh, I mean, this is the, the life we live. I mean, you know, like I, don't, I haven't really showed you guys a lot of kind of like the behind the scenes of the whole travel and things like that. I'll give you a tour of like my room, uh, mind you. These are all my clothes. All my clothes. I don't dry them. I literally let them all air dry. This is my merch, by the way. Riseabove.shop. Um, and here's where my, this Airbnb, for some reason, only had um, my air mattress. Steve Ronan, actually, is in that room, and he has the bed. So we'll give it to him. And upstairs literally just goes outside to the roof. But it's still kind of cool. A lot of rooms and a lot of houses here in Baltimore, Maryland are just squished together they're like duplexes and i i just can't live here i i hate this place i'm sorry i actually hate this place it's not for me but there's a lot of abandon here so it keeps me coming here for years but anyways i'm glad you guys have kind of seen this video we got to kind of kind of like really have a one-on-one -on -one together really go around we get toured by andy again andy kind of saved us on the funeral footage i did not have it if you guys want to see like more vloggy footage like kind of behind the scenes but i want to incorporate it into the abandoned video like maybe kind of before I get there showing off my favorite food before I get to the abandoned place or show some of these journeys of what we do when we're not filming the abandoned. Let me know comments down below guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot and we seriously go super hard. Rise above, just go out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.